Hi, my name is Miranda and I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Kami to complete an assignment that your teacher has assigned to you. Um, so if you look up here in the corner, top right corner, you'll see this K with a circle around it. Um, this tells me that I have the tool I need called Kami to complete my teacher's assignment. If you look through all of these extensions, these little pictures or icons up here, and you don't see this K with a circle around it, that means you are going to have to add it to your computer from the Chrome Web Store. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Again, you only need to do this next step if you don't see this K with a circle around it. If you do see it, then you're good to go and you won't need to go to the Chrome Web Store like I'm going to show you now. So to go to the Chrome Web Store, you can just Google Chrome Web Store. And here it is, Chrome Web Store, Google Chrome. I'm going to click on that to open it. And it's going to take me here. Now I need to search the store for the tool called Kami. And the way to do that is to click in this box and type K-A-M-I and then hit return or enter to search. This is the tool that you are going to need. If you see rate it right here, that means it's already installed for you up here. If you see add to Chrome right here instead of rate it, then you will need to click add to Chrome and then allow it to install. Once you've done that, then you will see the K appear up here and you are ready to go. So I'm now gonna go back to Google Classroom and work on the assignment that my teacher has given me. I'm going to go here to the classwork tab. I can also see the assignment posted here in the stream, a new assignment via Kami, more crayons activity. I'm going to go over here to the classwork tab. Here it is, that more crayons activity. I'm going to click on it. And now here is the assignment my teacher has attached for me. Notice this type of document is called a PDF. You'll see this little uh, red color here in the corner of the document and you'll see PDF. When you see that, that means that you're going to have to use this tool called Kami to be able to work on the document. And notice my teacher gave me some instructions. Please use Kami to complete this assignment. Click on Open with Kami. So in order to find that Open with Kami button, I first need to click into the assignment to open it. And then uh, it's going to open up here on this screen. Um, you'll notice up at the top that I have this Open with Kami button. I will only see this button if I have this Kami extension installed here. So, um, and you'll notice sometimes that button goes away, like if I just let the computer screen rest and don't move my cursor, you see how that button disappeared at the top? All I need to do to get it back is wiggle my cursor and then it'll be right up here, Open with Kami. So now I'm going to click on that to open this activity that my teacher has assigned me with Kami. It's going to open up in a new tab. And it's going to open up in this screen. Here's the document that my teacher wants me to work on. And I have lots of different tools uh, because I'm opened it with Kami. So first, you'll notice over here, my teacher has added some items onto the screen. She's added a video that I can play. She's added a comment, and she's also added an audio file or a voice uh, feature here. If I play it, I can just listen to my teacher and stop it also. So I'm going to start by showing you uh, the first kind of tool. I'm going to use these uh, little arrows down here to open up my bar. And the first tool I'm going to use is called a text box. So this is the tool you want to use if you want to type your answer on the screen. So I click on text box. I can choose my color if I want. I'm going to choose black. And then all I need to do is move my cursor and click on the screen where I want to add my text. So I think there are 24 crayons, or whatever it is. So you're going to type your answer. You can, um, I notice up here, my teacher tells me, be sure to explain your think thinking. So I would want to make sure to write because, and then tell my teacher why I think there's 24 crayons in the box. So that is the text box. I can add them anywhere I want, just by clicking and then typing. The next feature I wanna show you is this one called markup. So it's possible your teacher has asked you to highlight some information on the page, or you just wanna highlight it for yourself. So notice the first, when I click on markup, the first tool is, if I hover over it, it's called a text highlighter. So I click on that and then I move my cursor over here and I just click and drag 
to show which text I want to highlight. Um, it highlighted it in yellow for me. Sometimes it does a different color. If you click on that text or on that highlight and then click in this colorful box, I can change the color to whatever I want. The next tool I'm going to show you is called the comment tool. So if I click over here in this little speech bubble where it says comment, um, I can choose to add comments just like my teacher did over here on the side. So the first kind of comment is called a text comment. If I click on that and then move my cursor over, I can add a comment. Maybe I want to explain my thinking a little bit more on this and I want to do it over here in the side menu. All I need to do is click and then you'll see it adds this yellow dot. This yellow dot here tells my teacher I've added a comment over on the side. So I can tell my teacher this is what I think or whatever it is you want to tell your teacher. Also notice you have this microphone here for voice typing. So if you're not very good at typing, you can click this and it'll listen to your voice and put text on the screen on what you say. So if I click this, it'll start listening and typing for me. Oh, and up here, you're gonna notice it says uh, it wants to allow my microphone. I have to click allow. And now let me try that again. I'm gonna click here. Hi, teacher. Let me tell you why I think there are 24 crayons. And then I just click uh, the, the microphone again to stop recording. Okay, the next type of comment that you can leave is a voice comment. So the way to do that is click on that tool and then click where you, on the screen where you want to leave the voice comment. You should click on the screen next to what you're talking about so it's easier for your teacher to understand. So maybe I want to explain how to solve this addition problem here by just using my voice. So now once I click here, it's going to put a dot and it's going to start recording my voice at the same time. Here I go. This problem shows 10 plus 450. The first thing to do is add the numbers in the ones place. Zero plus zero is zero. The next, you're gonna add the numbers in the tens place. 10 plus 50 is 60. I'm just gonna hit stop. You guys get the idea, but now there's this nice voice file for my teacher to listen to. The last type of comment that you can leave is called a video comment. So maybe your teacher is going to ask you to record a video of yourself explaining what you think or how you want to solve a problem. So the way to do that, again, I just click here and then once I, I want to click next to what I'm talking about, so maybe I'm talking about this problem number two, um, I'm just going to click at the end of it. It's going to leave another little dot and also start recording my video. And I would just click there, start recording and then hit stop the same way that you did with the voice comment. Another type of tool is called the drawing tool. You can use this to draw on the page. Maybe circle an answer or explain your thinking by writing it out. So I'm going to click on this little pen here where it says drawing and then I can choose my color and hit save. And then I can also use this number to decide how thick I want my pen. Maybe I'll go with eight. And now I can use this drawing tool to draw on the page. So here I'm going to say maybe I think the next answer is 30. I can write that right there on the page for my teacher to see. The last tool that I want to show you is this one, text to speech. So if you're having trouble reading some of the writing on the page, you can have the computer read it to you. So I'm going to click on text to speech and then I'm going to move my cursor onto the page in front of the words that I want it to read. So I'm going to click right here and it'll start reading it for me. Although you can't hear it right now, it's reading the words out loud to me while highlighting the words. And then I just hit the stop button when I'm done. All right, now let's pretend that you are all done with this assignment and you are ready to turn it in. You can go up here to this button. It says save and also notice the words turn in next to it. You can simply click turn in and then click this blue turn in button and it'll be turned in to your teacher and your teacher will be able to look at your work and give you a grade.
And you can notice over here, if I go back to the Google Classroom page, here is my assignment. The more crayons activity, here it is. I'm going to click on it and you can see that I've turned it in.